Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've got some really interesting beauty news that's going on or will be going on. L'Oreal's gonna have a new campus. Innisfree is shutting doors on some of their stores, I'm sorry, and an indigenous model. So this is the beauty news update. All right, for a big sale that's gonna be coming up, it's gonna be starting this weekend, May 9th, and it's gonna go on to the, through the 29th, and it's Ulta's Beauty's Gorgeous Hair Event. It's kind of like 21 Days of Beauty that we had not that far long ago, but this time it's just gonna be specifically for hair products, um, tools, products, shampoos, um, accessories, you know, that kind of stuff. So they are going to have uh, four, each day up to 50% off certain items that they're going to have for each day. I will have in the description box below a link to an article that I found that will have specifically some of those things that will be available on each of those days. So if you are interested, you should check that out in the description box below. All right, L'Oreal is going to be opening a new LA headquarters, which means more jobs in that area. So the new campus is coming to California in early 2022 and it's gonna be the first West Coast headquarters that L'Oreal will have. They have other locations, I think another one on the East Coast. So this is the first time that they're gonna be having it here. And this is uh, L'Oreal USA. They want this campus to be innovative and a hybrid working area. They wanna allow their workers to either work in in office or in home to work seamlessly between the two. I know now with the pandemic, it's kind of changed the way that we all work. So. This is definitely something that kept, that they have kept in mind and want to keep um, offering to their workers, their employees when they are there. So I think that's really cool. They understand now that people have families or other responsibilities and that's really, really great. This um, campus is gonna have an indoor outdoor working areas. They're gonna have patios. They're also going to have an exercise and wellness studio. And the reason why they're wanting to do this is that they wanna expand their company and LA is a place for the opportunity for them to do so. They feel that LA seems to have uh, places for them to, to try out their trends and uh, their products and also with their employees. So they're really wanting to uh, work in a place that they know that they're views and ideas would definitely work best. So this is something that's really cool, you know? So if this is a company that you really love and are interested in, definitely maybe check out their websites and see, you know, what kind of um, positions they're looking for. So that's really cool. So LA area, look out for a new campus. Unfortunately, this is some not so good news. Innisfree, so they announced this on their IG stories and they are going to be closing their stores in Canada, the last of them on May 8th, so this weekend. If there is one close to you that is still open, it is closing. So this is your chance right now to go in and get what you need. The reason why they're closing all their doors is again, the pandemic. So there is a, a downside, of course, to this. And it seems to be something that is affecting a lot of businesses more so with this. And they were wanting to originally, when they came to Canada in 2019, was to, you know, have their doors open, but also then to expand. They were planning actually to have more locations be open and to, you know, grow their company in a sense. But unfortunately with the pandemic, this has then led them to leave Canada, unfortunately. And it's not the greatest thing to hear. And it's really sad to hear that because, you know, I believe these kind of companies that, you know, are wanting to, you know, be more environment environmentally friendly and their packaging is recyclable and they want, you know, more natural ingredients to be in their skincare and products, you know, I, based on what I was reading, this seems to be a really, really great company. And unfortunately they were not able to go forward with what they wanted to do. They will, they said they will be in Sephora stores still. So it's not the end of the world. You can still get them. It just won't be their full collection, their full line in an individual store. So if, um, so, you know, there there isn't a total loss, just know that you will only get them now in Sephora or you can get them on Innisfree's website. So new, another beauty line's coming into play here, Zara. The clothing line is now going to be having a beauty line. So this is coming out on May 12th, so next week, so look out for that. 
they are going to have it online and available in select stores. So you may want to look out and see if there might be one, some stuff coming to the store closest to you. Now with Zara coming out with this beauty line, they didn't just want to just make stuff and have it out. They actually went to someone and it's makeup artist Diane Kendall. And she's actually done a lot of work on the runways and a lot of trends and, you know, just definitely some things and tricks that she's learned and used in those areas. And so what she's doing is working alongside with Zara. They've came, they came to her and Zara is going to be launching a lot, a lot of products, 130 products, at least that, if not more than, and they're going to launch eye, lips and face and nail products. I don't know exactly yet what those things are. They haven't really given out a full picture or a full list of those things. I know they have mentioned that they're going to have out, you know, things, some lipsticks and all that stuff. But as, as far as I know, like specifically what I don't know yet, they wanted their collection to be clean, refillable and accessible to all. And what's really interesting is that they are going to have refillables. That's great. They're wanting to think more about the environment. So they are going to have, they're going to have some stuff that can be refillable. And they say that their prices are going to range from $8 to 26 and refillable starting at $5. Now, if you're thinking that models are just one size fits all, it's not. And it's definitely been changing more so in the industry. Vogue Mexico's May issue spotlighted a first female indigenous model. So uh, the model is 18 year old Kawana Chase Horse. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing her name, Kawana Chase Horse. She is, and I'm sorry again if I put, I'm butchering this, Juan Goichian and Oglaga, Oglaga Kauta from Alaska. I'm sorry if I'm butchering all of that. <laughs> I have her in here and I'm trying to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Um, she says when they interviewed her that she always wanted to be a model, but she's never seen someone like her in that industry, someone that looked like her. And because now a lot of industries are now looking more for diversity and a lot of, you know, the next generation, what they look like. So they, you know, she's, she signed on for, uh, IMG and she's been doing a lot of runway, um, stuff and, She's done a lot of runway work and, you know, she's worked with Calvin Klein. She's, she's done a lot of really interesting and cool things. What's also really cool about her is that she is really heavily involved in acti activism work and it's for indigenous issues and for climate change. And within this issue, she is dressed in her traditional attire and she also has traditional tattoos on her face and they are to represent her and her culture. They, Vogue, what's really cool is that they wanted to uh, allow her to give the opportunity to share her culture and to talk about it. And they didn't try to hide away specifically those tattoos on her face. They are very profound and they're, they're right there. And I think that's really cool that they chose not to and that they allowed for her to talk about them and to share who she is. And she's, she's so beautiful and I think that's wonderful. And you can see in the pictures of that issue that she's wearing traditional attire as well as, you know, some modern takes to it. So this was, this was a really cool issue. So I highly pick up, I highly recommend you pick this up or at least thumb through it and kind of see what she's doing. So it's really, really cool. And then I do have one more piece of information to share. And that is little Yachty is launching his new nail polish line or in his words, nail paints. The reason why he specifically is saying nail paints is because he wanted to create a line that's more gender neutral. He announced this on his um, IG account and he said it's, May, it's dropping May 21st and uh, the line is going to be called Crate and it's in black matte bottles. So it's really, really interesting and they look almost like lipsticks in a sense, but they, they're not obviously they're, they're nail paints. And so he's modeling them and showing what they look like and you know, how they can be applied. And he didn't quite specifically say what kind of colors are going to be released based on what he was holding. It looked like he was caring about maybe five shades at least. So at least that there may be more, I don't know. Maybe that's all he could handle in that picture. I don't know, <laughs> but that's what he has. And, um, 
we've not been seeing this more is that the male demographic is starting to apply nail polish to their nails which that's their choice and i have nothing against that but that is a demographic that hasn't really been focused on lately and so you know this is this is uh, someone who chose to come out with these nail paints he definitely wanted these to be for anyone so that's why he's making them more specifically gender neutral. So I'm guessing, you know, black, white, blue, yellow, orange. I don't know. I'm just guessing here what the colors could be. Either way, this is really interesting. Dropping May 21st, so look out for that. And that's the end of this video. I hope it gave you some ideas and things to look out for and things to be aware of. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I hope you have a great day, great week, great weekend. I love you. Take care and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.